I want to ask you a couple MJ questions. Um, Who's that? Yeah. So, <laughs> you won the national championship in 82 with him on your team. You win the Olympic gold with him on your team. Mm -hmm. Then you lose to him in the 91 finals and you lose to him in the 96 finals. Correct. What's the difference in mindset when you're walking on the court with MJ on your team and then without? Well, I blame it because I didn't have I didn't have a point guard. No, okay. <laughs> no, just kidding. We had Magic. Mm -hmm. We had Gary. The difference is, is that um, when you're with him, it seems like things, you know, go hand in hand. When yeah. you're without him, you have to play against him. You have to be competitive, just as he is. I match everything he does yeah. with the uh, quality of play that he he, he puts out. I'm not just being his friend and you know teammate. When do you? really see him kind of develop into the Michael Jordan that we know in the NBA. It take further back when mm -hmm. we played at um, we played at the University of Maryland. He came from Mike Jordan to Michael Jordan and he at the end did a windmill dunk with nobody thought he would do. Yeah. And everybody started noticing that this guy's different. And uh, so when we came to pros, he just went another level because mm -hmm. he was constantly challenged every night and especially in the, in, the, in the conference that he was in, the East, Co East Coast Conference, mm. he tenaciously um, took them by surprise. And everybody knew he was Michael Jordan, but mm. he was a rookie, but he went about beyond the rookie status of so playing yeah. you know, constant to more consistent. Did that surprise you, his rookie play? Well, I didn't, it didn't surprise me, but it just surprised how he took on guys who were more experienced than him. Mm and playing that same position, he seemed to hold himself well against those guys for his first year. So that was a that was a shoot. That was our first one after James left. I think that was yep. in 83. Yep. So yep. James had just left us, and me and Michael now, we were predicted to be number one since we won it that year. Yeah. Because we still had him, and we yeah. had uh, Brad Doherty, yeah. Kenny Smith, and Kenny broke his yeah. hand. Do you, do you still have those shorts? I gave the shorts to my daughter. I, okay. I just took this out of a frame for a charity. Let so we was in school, they, that same, it was part of the, that cover. Yep. She didn't want to be on film. So this was actually in class? This is in class. You, this wasn't staged? No, this was oh, actually guys... a class. Okay. And they were like, hurry up and get out because he wanted to teach. Like, what class was this, do you know? Me and Mike had language together, so this okay. might have been a language class. Yeah, so every time somebody, like, you know, it's, it's worthy of my, he's not here. Yeah. So, but that leads to what it says, like, that, that, that became called, he's not here, because all the people, the players would go, and then follow him, and then, you know, yeah. So, it was, it was, it was